The University of Bedfordshire has a number of societies that all students can get involved in. One of the more unusual ones is the Beekeeping Society. We went to Putteridge Berry where the bees are kept to talk to Martin Furlow about his very intriguing hobby. Hello, I'm Tiana Cheyenne and I'm here today at Putteridge Berry for Beds TV to have a look at the wonderful bees that live here. I'm joined here today by Martin Furlow, who looks after and owns the bees. Hello, Martin. Hello there. How are you? I'm fine, thank you very much. So I understand that you've turned your hobby into a society for the university, a beekeeping society. Why did you do that? Well, initially the project was uh, set up by the uh, co-set up by the uh, Beds SU, and um, they they brought some funds in to allow me to set up a, a an apiary to give students and staff at the university the opportunity to understand the importance of pollinators and understand about beekeeping itself. And then, unfortunately, last year, the funding went from the project, and clearly because, it's, um, because they're living uh, creatures and the, you need funds, you constantly need funds to get, keep going through the, with the project, uh, we had to think of another way to keep the project running. So the only way that we could do it, that we see, could think of doing it, was by setting up a student society. To bury all the University Bee Society. And it became a society, that's yes. really cool. So what exactly are we going to be doing to the bees today? Well, today we're going to be treating them with oxalate acid, which is a, a derivative from, uh, from rhubarb, uh, the, the actual leaf of the rhubarb. And um, what you do is you create a solution and then run the solution in between each frame, and that trickles onto the bees, and it's, it's, a, it's designed to, um, to kill off any mites that grow on the bees, particularly the varroa mite, which, is, uh, which feeds on the back of the bee. How did you first become interested in keeping bees? Really, funny enough, I used to have honey in my tea <laughs> and I always dreamt that I would like to be a beekeeper. Mm. And about 10 years ago or so, my wife um, decided to buy me as a birthday present. And uh, I spent a year being mentored by uh, a, an, a, uh, an apiarist and a society them, and, they, and that's where I am now. Okay, so I've never actually seen bees up close, so um, whenever you're ready, let's go have a look. So now we're going to head outside to see where the bees are kept and use a trickling solution on them to help them through the rest of the winter. I'm from flying away. Yes. I'm really scared them. Don't worry, we're not going to lie. It's because you're used to what they. You're used to them almost, aren't you? Unfortunately, one of Martin's hives didn't make it through the cold weather. This is a very sad but a regular occurrence for the bees in the UK. Now Martin must concentrate on his other two hives to make sure they make it to spring. Oh, that was so much fun. I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> so how would they go about buying the honey? So the way to buy the honey is the, uh, the actual honey is being sold at the, in Puttridge Berry Canteen. So you go mm -hmm. to the Puttridge Berry Canteen and you... Uh, Invest in that by buying the honey, you're investing in the upkeep of the bees. Oh, that's so great! And um, how would they go about joining the society if they wanted to? Well, if you jo to join the society, you just um, enrol via the Beds SU site. So you go onto the Beds SU site and then enrol uh, as a as a member of the Bee Society. That is so great. Okay, so I've really enjoyed looking at the bees. Thank you so much, Martin. I've been Tiana for Beds TV. Make sure you join that society. Bye.